With FIFA 19 almost over, we are all expecting Team of the Season to definitely be very interesting and to see lots of excitement from it and loads of hype around it. But unfortunately, the last, of course, league type of league that is going to be released, Ultimate Team of the Season, where all of the best ones from this year's Team of the Season are going to be put all back in packs. We are going to get amazing SBCs, everything like that. I'm currently making this video on Friday when we first got it, an hour after all of them have been released in the full squad and to be honest with you it's not looking great at all there is loads of huge names that are missing out for no clear reason we do have the likes of Lewandowski Neymar Salah Hazard all of these type of players Trent Alexander Arnold all missing out on ultimate team of the season and it is actually extremely strange there is no clear reason like I did mention there's nothing from EA Sports mentioned and the thing is ultimate team of the season always has extremely high expectations and the reason for this is because if you go back as you can see here FIFA 17 FIFA 18 they all look absolutely amazing any one of those players you would definitely be happy with but if you actually look at this year's there's loads of players that you're not really going to be like exactly happy with when you get them and it's just not really good by EA Sports there were loads of options for them to include but for some reason they haven't and it doesn't really look good on top of all of the other things that have been going on this week and I have been updating you guys on in my past videos so before we get into more information if you are new here make sure you do subscribe we are now aiming for 25,000 subscribers thank you guys so much for the unreal support recently this is going to be aiming for a quarter of a hundred thousand it's going to be absolutely insane so I'll definitely appreciate it and I'm also going to be having loads of videos in FIFA 20 on how to make coins on the web app everything like that so you definitely don't miss them so like I was saying the market now has gone really low some of the players that haven't been included in this team of the season that that most of us did expect for example a Bamiyang and they are just really exploding but players like Pepe for example who most people didn't really think that are gonna be in ultimate team this season he has actually dropped so much recently and the market in my opinion is just gonna go down from now we were all expecting like I did mention at the start an absolutely amazing ultimate team of the season promo to wrap up team of the season and that's gonna like nicely transition us into footies but as we can see here from so far what we have we haven't really got any SBCs released yet which hopefully EA Sports will start to recover this ultimate team this season with but the market really has kind of like given up on this ultimate team this season from what we can see right now loads of players are going down right now it's not only these team this season cards just everyone in general if you take a look at the market maybe not too much on some specific players but if you actually give it some time in my opinion the market is definitely in the couple of few days and maybe even next week the market is completely going to be down because if EA sports don't release any other SBCs or something like that to kind of like recover this ultimate team this season the market will stay low and it's gonna reach a point where it's kind of like it's not gonna go any more above that so it's gonna go low it will recover a bit but it's not gonna recover all the way to where it is now and it's just gonna stay below I'm not really too sure how much it's gonna be but for example a percentage if the market is gonna go down 40% now then it's gonna go back up 20% there's still gonna be a 20% that has overall dropped in from now and on after of course and then we are going to have footies everything like that but then after that it's just going to be a huge drop off because we are going to see the amount of FIFA 19 players there is really going to start going down after ultimate team this season is the main point when we're going to see it maybe they're going to come back for kind of footies but after that of course it's just going to be hype and build up to FIFA 20 and nothing's going to be going on in FIFA 19 so we do need to be careful for that point especially if you're looking just to sell your team and maybe like spend packs on it something like that I will update you guys in the future videos but hopefully EA Sports can still recover this ultimate team this season with something special thank you guys for watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time